not so soft, just, just as a warm up. Four bars? Ah, four. No, yeah, yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> While you're singing, there are people around you that are wandering, and also you can sing to them and with them. Otherwise, you guys are sort of like floating above as art pieces. Find a way to shift and be kinetic with the room. It has to be like there's sort of secrets that you're holding. In 1191, so you've been playing that subito forte? Play forte. The idea was to bring music and art together, so we collaborated with Avo Perth and Gerhard Richter. Avo created music for Gerhard, Gerhard created paintings. We felt it would be wonderful to further enhance and explore this, you know, intersection between music and art. We knew that Steve Reich would be a very amazing composer to work with. I did music for a film, which was made in addition to the visual art on the walls by Gerhard Richter and Karina Belts. The structure of the music and the film are tied together. Two pixels in musical terms means a two note, little oscillation, ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. and then they get a little bit wider in their four pixels, becomes a four note, and then eight and so on. These two artworks that were made concurrently and made together come to life in the presence of the audience. Reich Richter Perth could not happen in a museum and it could not happen in a concert hall. That is exactly where the shack comes in. It is a hybrid format and it finds a common space for both rituals. You're placed in a new context that automatically puts you into an attentive mood to figure out what to do. I'm no more uh, able to predict how the audience would experience my music than you are.